Hey guys, it's Charlie. I want to talk a little bit about the, the situation uh, of collapse, ongoing collapse, or as Warren likes to say, uh, the path to a dirt nap that we're, uh, that we're entering into. I'm wanting to just give you a few headlines from, from my uh, website. 59.9% of Americans are racking up huge credit card debt once again. Federal Reserve succeeds in fostering massive speculation in junk bonds and equities. Another one, uh, inflation raises its ugly head in Argentina again. Now I can make up some headlines that would be uh, uh, perfect for today's news, which is you know the Dow Jones experiences uh, yet even more uh, recent high days, s- closing well over twelve thousand points today. Uh, commodities are, are rallying. Wall Street firms are are having entire quarters where they don't lose money on any single trading day. You see, uh, happy days are here again uh, in the pits on Wall Street. Happy days are here again. Uh, for the uh, CEOs and the executives of these too big to fail firms. And the jargon is exactly the same as it was uh, leading up to the crash of 2008. Now, I, I'm reading these headlines as we're posting them on the site, and I'm thinking it pops into my head the Republican slogan uh, going into the midterm election. They, uh, they had the Republican pledge, and one of the pledges they had was repeal and replace. That was in uh, speaking to uh, you know the Obamacare, the mandatory purchase of health care. Uh, they, they decided that if they went out and told the American people they were going to repeal and replace it with uh, health care, better health care reform, uh, they'd be worthy of their vote. Well, you know, I got another slogan that came to mind, which is uh, rig and repeat. You know, in the last two years, we've seen trillions and trillions of dollars being spent uh, in rigging this economy. And the way it was rigged is you took the sin of the two big to fails, gave it to the citizens of this country, and, and then you can fill in the blank uh, as far as what country I'm speaking to because we've seen it happen around the world. So they've rigged this economy by uh, taking the failure, giving it to the people, and uh, that has bought a few years' time. Now they're repeating the exact same things with uh, the Federal Reserve and their quantitative easing causing uh, commodities, causing rampant speculation uh, in in several markets, and and in a sense, creating more bubbles that are about to pop in our face once again. There's a reason why all these headlines are are really uh, the same as they were in 2007 and uh, 2008 because we're about to experience the same kind of implosion that we saw in 2007 and 2008. And here's the key difference. In 2007 and 2008, we had our government and our our so-called representatives uh, go before the cameras, hat in hand, uh, saying we're going to fix this problem. They, They spent trillions of dollars allegedly on our behalf and no problem was fixed. The only thing that was done was the sin of a few was made everybody's sin. We called it prosperity. We're pretending that things are better now with the Dow Jones at 12,000 with a falling unemployment rate. But when we look at the reality of it, the Dow Jones is being a, is a foster child now of the Federal Reserve. And the unemployment rate uh, is a rigged number. Just like the books that are being cooked on Wall Street, so are the books being cooked by the government. We know that they're uh, reducing the percentage of people they consider to be uh, in the workforce. The standard, you know, decades long 66% has been reduced to 64%. Massive adjustments in January. 500 plus thousand people just taken, not even existing anymore because they've come off the unemployment rolls. Either they're 99ers and they stopped looking for work or they just got completely frustrated and left the the pool of people who should be working in this country. Everything that was going on in 2007 and 2008 as far as propaganda is repeating. The thing that's going to be different, when this one comes apart, you're not going to have a politician coming on television saying, if you just give us another chance, uh, we'll we'll, bail out these too big to fail firms and everything's going to be better. You see, all the sin, all the problems that were created by the too big to fail, they don't exist anymore. They're not your problems. So when this collapse comes, you can can be guaranteed of one thing. You're going to be told it's your fault and you're going to be the one to pay for it. And in fact, you will be because our government, uh, without your permission, without your knowing, has taken all this debt uh, through vis-a-vis the Federal Reserve and through Freddie and Fannie and turned this into your problem. No longer theirs. That's why these multi-billionaires partying it up in Davos recently, these record bonuses can occur on Wall Street and they can have uh, consecutive, you know, 
every day, every trading day in a quarter where they can't lose money, these people are taken care of and these people are represented. You absolutely are not. Everything to this point was smoke and mirrors and trickery or trinkets uh, to gain your confidence. Well, now they're about to lower the boom. And if you think it's been ugly in Western Europe, guess what it's going to look like here when we get to spend uh, 30, 40, 50, 60 percent of our income in order just to get the necessities we need uh, for energy consumption and food consumption. If you want to know what that looks like, take a look at Egypt. That's what started these riots. Uh, gross, gross negligence by their government, corruption by their government, leading to massive uh, inflation in food. The same thing happened in Tunisia. These violent, persistent uprisings, they're not people upset they're losing government services. They're people upset that they can't live. They can't buy enough food to eat. They, can't ha they don't have any uh, kind of jobs because it's all been exported to another country or the uh, civil servants in this country are so corrupt they pocketed the money for themselves. This is what's coming to this country eventually. Now, I don't know if it's going to be in a week or if it's going to be in a few years, but we do know this. It isn't a matter, matter of uh, we're going to dedicate a bunch of money to fixing a problem. We're going to dedicate a bunch of money and then we're going to repeat the same thing over and over again. These, these cycles are becoming shorter and more violent. That, that is my prediction. We're going to have a very, very violent uh, implosion when we realize that all this good news and uh, all this prosperity is nothing more than Federal Reserve created uh, propaganda so they can bail out their buddies. They have a chance to uh, flee the ship before uh, it fully sinks. Stories are attached. That's all I got.